Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on our 07 Mazda 6 with a 2.3 liter. We start by opening the hood. You'll find the hood release inside on the driver's knee kick panel. And you're going to pull on that lever. Then you're going to come out and release the safety lock, which is right in the center above the symbol. Right there. Push it over to the left. Then set up your hood prop. That goes in where the arrow is indicated on the hood. To start the oil change, I like to remove the oil cap. This reminds me that after I've done draining, I need to add oil. In this particular car, it takes 5W20. And it takes 4.5 quarts. So I have a two post lift I'm going to raise the vehicle up with. If you're doing the oil chain at home, use a floor jack and jack stands and put them in the proper place to support you. So we're going to start the oil change by removing the oil filter cartridge. And this is a plastic housing, compound plastic. Um, you need specialty wrenches. Um, I use a universal but I use it with a little delicacy. You don't want to crack the plastic. So make sure you have a catch basin directly underneath it. And you're gonna just counterclockwise that out. I just let the housing drain in there. Set the package on the front. The new cartridge will come with a gasket, which I'll show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the old gasket. I use like a little pocket screwdriver flat edge, and I'm gonna run that right around. And discard that, because it comes with a new one. Now I'm just gonna clean the housing with some parts cleaner. You know, all the debris that came off of that. You want that to air dry. So now we're going to reapply our new gasket that comes with it. It's going to go on the big line ridge, right there, that's where it sits. So I start it, run it right around, make sure it seats all the way around. Now this is where I'm going to open up my clean oil and I'm going to add a little bit of clean oil to that so that it, while it's tightening up, it seats properly and doesn't get pinched. Before I do that, you can see how the filter snaps down in there. It's going to have a stage to it. Once I slide it over, you'll hear it click. So I've put some clean oil on the tip of my finger here, and I'm just going to coat that gasket all the way around. I'm going to, so before I install my new cartridge filter in the housing that I've just cleaned, I'm going to take some parts cleaner and I'm going to clean the old oil out of the threads of the housing. Now I'm not shooting straight up because I don't want it to get into the oil pan. I just want the old oil 
off the threads. And then you can use a rag to just put her up in there and make sure it's clean of any debris. So to tighten up this plastic housing, I have an adjustable oil filter wrench and it has a rubber coating on it, on the threads. So when it grabs that plastic housing, it won't crack it and I can give it a good tighten it up. Now you'll notice when it bottoms out, you'll see it and feel it and I just give it a little snug because they want this torqued to 23 newton meters um, but for some reason this particular design um, I, my covers that I usually have filter covers don't fit on this housing and it seems like it's kind of worn out. If it was in a newer vehicle, a newer Mazda, the oil filter cover I have probably would fit the filter wrench, but I cannot grab it. So it also seems like this car could use a new oil filter housing cover, which you can buy at 1AAuto.com. So now that my oil is drained out of my oil, oh no. so now that my oil is drained out of my oil filter housing, I'm going to move on to the drain plug. This is a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. I'm gonna break it free. And then I can drain it into my catch pan. If you notice that drain plug came out pretty smooth, nice and smooth, I turned it out the rest of my way with my fingers. So that tells me that the oil pan is in good shape. The threads are fine and so is the drain plug. I always give the drain plug a quick visual. See that there's no threads that are crossed, no debris. This particular drain plug, the gasket is built in. So there's not a need to replace it at this point. It looks nice and good, it's not torn. So I can reuse this. I like to let the oil drain out for a good 10 to 15 minutes. So now that I've let all the oil drain out, it's down to a minimal drip, I'm going to reinstall my drain plug. Snug it up by hand. And once again, this is a 13 millimeter wrench. Now because it's aluminum, I bottomed that out right there and I'm just going to give that a good quarter turn. That's it. And now I'm going to take my parts cleaner and I'm going to clean up the oil filter housing and the drain plug. And by cleaning this, you also assure yourself that you're not going to have any drips on the driveway in your parking lot. That way you don't panic either. If you see something on the ground, you don't think, oh, did I have an oil leak? Did I not tighten something? Now you know you have a visual that's clean, and that is clean. It's time to lower it, add the oil. So this Mazda 2.3 liter takes four and a half quarts with a new filter cartridge. So I have a five quart jug here, so I'm gonna add it four quarts to be safe, and then I'm gonna really eye the last half quart. I'm gonna see where my level is on my jug. Leveled surface. And I have another full quart to go because I'm right there at the half, so I, I need to go right at this mark. Nope, another half a quart to go, and we'll be there. Perfect. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to let my funnel finish draining into that. So now I'm going to take my filling funnel out and reinstall my oil filter cap. It has a lock system on it. You can feel it snap right into place and it's done, bottomed out. So I started the car up and I let it run for about a minute. 
Then I shut it off. Um, if you have a car that has an oil gauge on it, you'll watch the gauge go up in pressure and then you can shut it off. Or you'll have a little oil filter light that comes on and it looks like an oil jug. When that light will come on for a second then go out. Once it goes out, you can shut your vehicle down and then come out and check your oil level. So you're gonna pull the drink, dipstick out. It's located right in the, with the yellow handle. Clean the stick. And it's cleaned. So once we put it back in, and I'm gonna pull it out, we want the oil to be a smidge below that top line or at that top line. So, we'll just... so once I remove the dipstick, you can see that the oil goes right up to that fill line. If you find it a little bit underneath, that's fine. You just don't want it above it. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.